Hello friends, this is Scott, and we're taking a look at my broken down rain barrel. As you see, it comes off the gutter, and there I have a diverter, that little black box. Uh, so when the barrel's full, the water gets diverted back down through the channel and underneath my concrete out into my yard. But this is an old barrel and old connectors, and I've been doing the old duct tape for several years now. Now this is something you take apart every year and drain, so it's, it's something that needs maintenance regardless yearly but uh it's time to do a little bit better job than the duct tape but here's looking inside the rain barrel and uh oh, it looks like some green goodness down there at the bottom and uh you see a little bit of oily looking substance again coming off the shingles isn't the greatest place to get water but this is the main water for my garlic bed i don't have a sprinkler to it right at the moment so here i am just going to dump out this last of the dirty water i'm being extra careful not because it's heavy but because I don't want to smell like this stuff. I don't want it on me, anywhere on me. If we had smell of vision uh, you would uh, not be too happy right now. Here's a close-up of the green goodness. Again, it'll be great for the soil. I'm sure there's tons of organic matter in here that'll fertilize this tree, but I don't want it to be touching this stuff and, and watering my uh, root crops with it. So it's time to clean the barrel. So I just took it out to the yard and just took a hose. I'm never going to drink from this barrel, so I'm not that concerned about total cleanliness. I just want to rinse out the, the juicy goodness and get it ready for some fresher water coming off the, the downspouts, which we're supposed to get a rain today, so it's a little bit of an exigent circumstance for me. Uh, I need to get some water by my garlic. It's about a month from picking or less, so I need to have a good water source so I'm not having to haul buckets around. So I need to get this fixed, and here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the simple interior little water line, drain line, with some uh, hose clamps. Again, this is a yearly project. This material will not last under the rays of the sun. It's going to get uh, destroyed, but it'll work for, for a season, and uh, I can always replace the hose clamps. I bought some extra, as well as I have extra of the hose, so that I can uh, just every year just, just fix it. Now, I had to slit the, slit the uh, hose because I couldn't find anything the right size. I don't know about you, but anytime I try to find any type of a repair kit for a, anything that's kind of unique or specialty, I can never find it. And I couldn't find a size of pipe that would fit over this that I could uh, clamp onto, so I just uh, slit the side, slipped it over, and just put the hose clamp there just to tighten it up, and it'll, it'll hold pretty good. I'm just going to cut the other end so that I can slip it over with another hose clamp over the part that connects to the barrel. As you see here, there's a little piece that fits right in. It'll actually slip inside this uh, drain pipe. And I'll pull the uh, hose clamp over and I'll tighten this one up also. So it's really a you know two clamp fix. I bought four clamps, so I've got two for next year to do it because these will rust out, I'm sure, over the, over the summer months. And I am gonna use a little electrical tape over where I split the hose just so it doesn't continue to keep splitting. And so I'll just wrap a couple pieces around here. And again, it uh, probably won't hold that well, but it just needs to hold a season. Because again, in the fall, I always unhook all this and drain the, the barrel. So it's not really that big of a deal. I just need it to last for a few months. And here I am with the second uh, piece of tape. And I could tape it all the way up. I could have painted the hose clamps. I could have done a lot of things. Uh, I still may get some duct tape and, and tape the, the pipe just so it stays a little bit better under the sun or not. I'll see how I do. Last step is putting the lid back on and getting the barrel in position. I want to make sure that the pipe is level. If it's not level, then the water will not, uh, this barrel will not work properly. It won't drain into the barrel. So I raise this up a little bit, make sure this is level. And as soon as it's full, uh, the pressure of the water in the barrel will make the water go back down the, the gutter, down through the ground, underground. Here's the extra pipe I've got for next year. Well, simple do-it-yourself fix of a water barrel. Ideally, you would put this barrel up on blocks so that you could fit a, bu a bucket underneath this spout. The problem is, is the dog jumps up on here, and if I raise the barrel, the dog will jump over the fence. So anyway, I just have to kind of pull the lid and, and dip barrels for my watering needs of my garlic. So hope you like this video, and uh, if you can't find the professional parts to fix something, you can always find something at the hardware store that you can uh, do it yourself. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you.